Now we move on to our second leading story. Reports from Northwest Cameroon indicate that residents have stormed bus stations uh, to travel to other cities in the country, uh, an action that can be traced to uh, the new threats by some separatist fighters in that region. Despite this, though, uh, the governor of the Northwest region, Adolf Lele, said on Sunday on Cameroon Radio and Television that the 2019-2020 school year will begin nonetheless in Bamenda, one of the troubled regions, Ruth. That's very true, Ru Jerry. It is a little confusing in these English-speaking regions in northwest and southwest of Cameroon. There are almost daily battles between the army and groups of armed separatists who have been demanding for more recognition from the government. And since 2016, life has been almost at a standstill. Schools are often targeted by these separatist groups as well as police stations. And in return, international NGOs say many abuses have been committed against civilians. Will schools open this year after the governor of the Northwest region, Adolphe Lele Lafrique, announced the beginning of the new year, new school year in Bamenda. Our correspondent may have the answer to this question. And indeed, yeah, we have her now, uh, we're told. Sandrine Momer, a warm welcome to you. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, uh, thank you for joining us this morning, uh, Sandrine. Um, uh, during the weekend, um, there was a lot of uh, pandemonium with many uh, residents in Bamenda uh, rushing to, uh, to, to leave the town. Uh, could you tell us uh, about this? Well, actually, on uh, August 21st, uh, news of a supposed lockdown to be imposed on uh, the population of the northwest and southwest regions of Cameroon began circulating on the social media. According to the information signed by one of the separatist leaders, Chris Anu, the northwest and southwest regions of Cameroon are to experience a lockdown from today, Monday, August 25th, to Monday, the 16th of September. During this period, the separatist fighters expect that uh, inhabitants of the northwest and southwest regions of the country of any socio-economic activity. This information was passed barely a day after the Yaoundé military tribunal sentenced uh, Fiseko Ayoktabe, whom the Amazonians referred to as their president, and nine others. Over the weekend, thousands of people could be seen fleeing the northwest region. On Saturday, August 24th, people had to queue for hours just to acquire traveling tickets to other parts of the country that have not been hit by the crisis. A normal bus fare from Bamenda to Yaoundé that was uh, 5,000 francs CFA, that's about uh, $8.5, was increased to 7,000 francs, about $12, and in other cases, 8,000 francs CFA, about $13.5. Some passengers who were desperate to travel but could not secure a seat in any of the agencies was forced to sleep at the park before it was done. You could, it, before it was done, you could already find people queuing to get a traveling space. Others who were moving to Bafuzam equally experienced a hike in the fare from 2,000 francs CFA, about $3, to 5,000 francs CFA, about $8.5 as of Saturday. While some people were traveling because they had to take their kids out of town for school's resumption, Others were running away from unforeseen circumstances in the days ahead in the Northwest region. A lady had been spotted with several tickets for herself and her kids heading to Yaoundé. And when asked if she secured a house, she said she would lodge in a hotel for some days, during which she would go on a search for a house and a job. As of 8 p.m. yesterday, some passengers were stranded at a travel agency because they had purchased travel tickets, yet there was no bus to transport them to their destination. What became of them is uh, unknown for now. Many have described the days ahead in the Northwest region as very uncertain. And Sandrine, as we've mentioned, schools are supposed to reopen in a few days. Please tell us, there, are there any visible signs, like, for instance, are parents preparing for this new academic year? Well, to say that the excitement of back to school is present in the Northwest region will be an overstatement. This as there is very timid preparation as far as uh, school resumption is concerned. 
while some parents buy books, school bags, and other didactic materials in a hiding. Others have just kept their fingers crossed to see if actually school's resumption would be a reality in the Northwest region. Very few people indulge in the sale of books and other writing materials for fear of being targeted by separatist fighters. However, in some parts of the region, like in Kambe, parents and school officials are preparing towards an effective school resumption, while in places like Kumbu, the doors of most schools have remained shut since last year with grass growing all over the school campus. And I can imagine what that means for the education of, of children in that region. Sandrine, um, so you recently left the town that you were living in. Um, and the, but there was a lot of uh, hope for dialogue when uh, the prime minister visited uh, the town. But what happened to all of these expectations and optimism? When the prime minister paid a visit to the northwest region in March this year, there was indeed hope for dialogue between the government of Cameroon and the separatist fighters. Then he went to Bamenda saw his visit as a stepping stone towards uh, sitting at the dialogue table. Initially, the separatist fighters said they can accept dialogue if the government accepted the attempts, one of which was to free their leaders in detention. With the proclamation at the Yaoundé Military Tribunal on August 20th, giving the Amazonian leader, Seseku Ayotabe, and nine others a life sentence, there is much skepticism if dialogue is going to be an option for the separatist fighters. Based on what inhabitants of Bamenda have been saying, the decision of the Yaoundé Military Tribunal has not only fought the path of dialogue, but it has equally reduced the chances of an effective school assumption in the Northwest, which there has been so much advocacy for. Well, we'll continue to pay attention to the developments there as we have been doing, and uh, hopefully there'll be a change in the situation there. Sandrine, I'd like to thank you for uh, sharing with us uh, some of the latest uh, from that region this morning. Thank you.